what is going on over at Marvel Studios? We have been getting lots of reports about this refocus on quality over quantity, and now we've got a mega report breaking down some major delays, multiple major delays, coming in 2023. Let's take a couple minutes to break down the whole report, talk about what's getting delayed and what's getting released, and what this could mean for the future of the MCU. Now, last year during San Diego Comic-Con, Kevin Feige announced plans for like five new shows that were set to premiere on Disney Plus in 2023. But now that Bob Chapik is out and Bob Iger is back in, it looks like Marvel Studios, who clearly has been stretched a little thin, has is going to pull back the expectations a little bit. Now, we talked the other day about how Kevin Feige had revealed we're likely to see fewer Marvel shows on the streaming service going forward. During that recent Entertainment Weekly report, he actually said the pace which we're putting out Disney Disney Plus shows will change. And now the Hollywood Reporter has published a very interesting follow-up report. Now, according to THR, we're only actually going to see two sure bets in 2023, and that would be Loki Season 2 and Secret Invasion. This means Echo, Ironheart, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and the second season of What If are very unlikely to drop in 2023, and I quote, as the studio spreads out its content and tinkers in post-production. Additionally, in these same reports, they said that the upcoming Nova series, which I found interesting because they confirmed it was a series, is now on a, quote, slower path. Now, people are calling this decision to pump the brakes on the streaming content as franchise recession. But let's be real. Given the overall reception to Phase 5, this is clearly Marvel's move to refocus on quality over quantity, which is something that clearly needs to happen. Quite honestly, given the recent reviews for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, some of this might be coming a bit late, but I am glad to hear this is what's going on. But I have to say, I have a couple of questions. Some of these shows may have been integral in setting up some future content, most prominently Echo. We know the Echo series is supposed to be set before Daredevil Born Again. And although we don't have a release date for Daredevil Born Again yet, we know it's sometime in 2024, it really makes me wonder what's going on with Echo. I really do think this report is indicating that some of these series could be shifted around into that special presentation format, and at the top of that list would be Echo. I could totally see an Echo special presentation coming on early 2024, just basically preluding Daredevil Born Again. Obviously, we don't have any confirmed reports of that, but it would make a lot of sense. We have heard some behind-the-scenes animation situations going on with Marvel Studios and their animation house, so that it could explain what's going on with What If?, and we've heard in Ironheart, we could be getting Mephisto, so delaying Ironheart, which could possibly lead into Agatha Coven of Chaos, does make sense to me. This is probably all way overdue, and I'm glad to hear Marvel Studios is making these moves. I think many fans have become a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of content, and it often just slightly missing the mark. Like I said the other day, upon rewatch, Phase 4 was pretty good, and there is a ton of content that they created in just the last couple of years. But I have absolutely no problems with them pulling the reins a little bit back and focusing once again on getting it perfect instead of just getting it pretty good and pumping it out there. I think the future for the Marvel Universe is pretty exciting, and these of adjustments always need to happen, so let's wait and see what actually goes on. I don't think we'll get just two shows this year, maybe three, but we're gonna have to wait and see.